Okay, so I'll put this up on YouTube and I'll encourage you guys to click on my link and give me five stars. Send it to your friends. Make me famous. All right, offset work planes. So I'm assuming all of us should be able to at least get a flat spot on the bottom. That's why I'm not including this in the video. But this bottom portion here, because it's flat, I can now make a sketch. But I'm not going to do that. Geo, instead, what I want to do is I want to make a sketch that's a certain distance away from this surface. A certain distance away from this surface. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to this little button up here that says Construct. And there's a word up here that says Offset Plane. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to touch the surface. And I'm going to drag this arrow towards me. Let me spin my screen a little bit so you can see what's happening. I'm creating an imaginary flat plane that's a certain distance away from this plane. How far do I want it? I don't know. I'm the engineer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say 0.5 inches. Why? Because I want to. You'll see in a moment. So I have this floating orange plane that's parallel now to that flat surface, as you can see. I'm going to turn that into a sketch. So now I'm drawing on a flat piece of paper that's 0.5 inches away from this flat surface. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. You guys all might want to watch this. Take a circle. I'm going to draw a circle. The diameter of this rod, this rod Stewart right here, has no rod Stewart. I have no idea who Rod Stewart is. The terrible singer in the news. I make fun of all the time. Anyway, I'm going to go through the mood today. Anyway, 5 sixteenths. That's the size of this. 5 divided by 16 inches. That's how the diameter of this rod. So I'm going to go a little bigger. Um, so anybody know what the, the, the size in decimal for 5 sixteenths is? Anybody know? Open a calculator up. 0 0.3125. Okay, so that means that my plastic has to be bigger than that. So I'll maybe make my plastic 0 0.450 or something like that. So watch what I do. I'm going to dimension this circle to be 0 0.455 or 0.450. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make this circle tangent to the bottom so that when I print it, everything can print flat, <laughs> right? I want everything to print flat. That's why I made a tangent. Then I want this to be in the center. I want the circle to be in the center of it. So I'm going to go to my constraints. I'm going to go to my vertical constraint, and I'm going to make sure that these two are vertical with one another. Now it's constrained. Watch this. You ready? I'm going to go up to create. I'm going to do what's called a loft. I'm going to loft this surface to this surface. A loft, as you can see, takes two surfaces, two shapes, and it blends them together. So I just took a circle and I blunt, or a square, sorry, a rectangle, and blended it in a circle. Isn't that cool? That's called a loft. So now I have a lofted shape that kind of transforms itself from a, a rectangle to a circle. And now I don't even have to sketch. I'm going to take this circle. I'm going to extrude it out a little bit. Maybe about a half of an inch. There it is. That's where the uh, wand is going to stick in. And then I'm going to make a sketch on the face of it. 
and I'm going to hollow it out. Put a circle in there, 5 sixteenths. Finish my sketch and cut it. Maybe a little less than the, uh, the depth of the hole, so maybe negative 0.35. All done. And I can print it flat because I know that it's on that flat plane. So that's loft and offset work plane. Cool. I gave you guys a lot of info.